Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Morning over a surge in delivery drivers being robbed. The Michigan Cannabis Regulatory Agency says they have confirmed at least 13 reports in nine cities of drivers being robbed while delivering cannabis to customers. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Grimmer in Utica tonight with how these crimes are happening and what's being done to protect drivers. Just drive this way. Driving around with Cloud Cannabis Utica delivery driver Bernardino Sanchez. He says he loves making deliveries and feels safe. I feel very productive every day. His boss, John McLeod, is aware of the surge in delivery driver robberies and has been strict on their security measures, saying in most of these 13 recent robberies, it's been multiple people working together. These are actual legitimate orders that people are identifying themselves with identification. And then when the drivers show up to their location, someone's coming out of the bushes and robbing them. I do see the, the danger in that situation. The Cannabis Regulatory Agency has said these robberies have occurred at residential delivery addresses. And in some cases, drivers were robbed at gunpoint and their vehicles stolen. So they're urging organizations to take extra precautions. This is our delivery map. This shows all of our deliveries that have been scheduled throughout the state. It also allows us real time to track our drivers as they go from one spot to another. In addition to tracking their drivers, Cloud Cannabis has cameras in their cars and is also double verifying their orders by calling and talking to recipients before the driver leaves. That usually adds an extra layer. If they're thinking about doing something nefarious, I think once you've been contacted and you've actually spoken to someone, I think that lessens the opportunity of a crime taking place. Another layer of security are these lock boxes that are kept inside of the driver's trunk. They're kept secure until they reach the delivery location. A terminal. McLeod has also recently helped create the Association for Cannabis Safety and Security, which is a group made up of the heads of security from larger cannabis operators in the state. Their goal is to keep operators up to date on safety risks just like this, to keep the industry safe and growing like a weed. Unfortunately, there hasn't been any type of a uh, any type of a physical crime. It's all been just property crime where it's you give them the product and they go. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.